Hi, I'm Kronos with a video introducing you to BitShares. BitShares is a very powerful and robust technology, but it can be difficult to understand. The best way to think of it is like a blockchain. If you're familiar with the Bitcoin blockchain or other cryptocurrencies, you're on the right track. But it has a couple of key features that I feel like really set it apart. In this video, I want to cover the features that I consider to be the most important to the BitShares network. Let's get started. The first feature I'd like to highlight is the security model of the BitShare system. It's called Distributed Proof of Stake. Now, Proof of Stake means that if you own shares in the network, you're able to mint blocks on the network. But that's not very good for people with only a few shares, because they would almost never mint blocks. Distributed Proof of Stake takes this a step further by saying, with shares, you can vote on which nodes are able to produce blocks. This allows anyone, no matter how many or how few bit shares they own, to vote on the security of the network. It's also very energy efficient because you don't have the proof of work mining that some cryptocurrencies have. So it's energy efficient, but it also has the full decentralization that any blockchain should have. The next feature is funding that comes in a fully decentralized manner. This is very, very powerful because it allows BitShares to pay itself for new features or for bug fixes that it needs. Let's say, for example, that you have an idea for a new feature for the BitShares blockchain. You put together what's called a worker proposal and present it to people who own BitShares. When they vote on it and it gets enough support, new BitShares are automatically created to pay for the work. Now, this means that the supply of bit shares goes up, so each one could be worth slightly less. But everyone benefits from that work as well, which increases the value of the network. So this makes the chain extremely powerful. This is true if a bug is discovered in the system too. The bit share holders could pay to create new bit shares to pay for the repair of the bug, making the whole system extremely flexible. The next feature is parameterization of what you would normally find hard-coded in a system. Take, for example, the block interval. In Bitcoin, you have a new block produced about every 10 minutes, and that's really not going to change because it requires a big upheaval of the system. Well, in BitShares, that can be changed by a committee, and once again, the committee is elected or voted on by the shareholders. So in BitShares, every, the block interval is just a few seconds. Blocks come out very, very quickly. And if you want that to change, you can put a proposal forward for the committee. If it's approved, the block interval is changed, so it makes the blockchain extremely flexible. And once again, the shareholders are in control because if a change goes forward that shareholders don't like, they can vote in a committee that opposes that change. So it makes the blockchain able to adapt to changes of technology and make it very robust and flexible. The next thing I'd like to highlight is the scalability of the BitShares blockchain. It's specially been written to be extremely, extremely scalable. It processes so many transactions per second. It's able to compete with the top payment processors in the world today. So I wanted to add that to this slide just to let you know that it's not going to be bogged down by limitations of technology. Because of these different aspects that allow the system to work in a decentralized way but still move forward with change, the whole system is able to keep up with the changes we see in today's world. Now, if this were just the only features that BitShares has over other blockchains, that would still make it pretty good. But I'd like to highlight some of the asset-based features that really make BitShares stand out. The first is user-issued assets. Now, you're the user, so user-issued assets means you can create your own assets. And this can be a very inexpensive, cheap asset that you just share among your friends for fun. This could even be corporations issuing their own shares on the BitShares blockchain. And BitShares gives you a huge amount of control over exactly how those shares can be used. You could say these shares can only be held by certain accounts, whitelisted accounts. You can say these assets can only be traded with these other assets, and you can even receive fees from the trade. So BitShares gives you an enormous amount of control of issuing your own shares or assets on the network. But BitShares also offers its own assets called smart coins, which track the prices of things in the outside world. Take, for example, the US dollar or USD. It has a pretty stable value, at least at the time of this recording. Well, BitShares has something called BitUSD, which tracks the value of the dollar, and it's guaranteed to at least have the value of the dollar by having underlying BitShares behind it. So if you own one BitUSD on the BitShares blockchain, you can convert that to an equivalent amount of BitShares tokens at any time. Now, the system to make this work is pretty complicated, so we'll have to save that for another video. But basically, some people take a short position, betting that the value will go down, and other people take a long position. And by collateralizing it with BitShares tokens themselves, the entire system is able to track prices appropriately. Now, this works for stable value tokens, like the US dollar. It also works for values that change, like the value of gold or silver or even stocks. So this makes BitShares an amazing platform for tracking assets all over the world.
Now, if that were all you have, that'd still be good, but the decentralized exchange, or DEX, really makes BitShares stand out. This means that any token you have on the BitShares network, let's say you have one BitUSD, can be traded for any other token on the blockchain. There's no need to have a third party intermediary. You don't have to share your private keys with anyone. You hold the funds yourself and you can trade your tokens on the chain. This is revolutionary. It's a very, very powerful feature. It allows you to trade into different kinds of assets like gold or you know, BitShares backed gold tracking assets or dollars or BitShares themselves. All of these different things inside BitShares without having to trust a third party. We're just starting to scratch the surface on what you can do with this technology, but it's very, very promising and powerful. You should definitely check it out. And the last feature is referral rewards. This is a way for BitShares to reward people who refer others to the system. Now, it's not some multi-level marketing scheme, so let me explain a little bit about how it works. Every time you do a transaction on the BitShares network, whether you're sending a token or you know, offering a trade on the exchange, you pay a small fee. 20% of that fee is destroyed in order to create scarcity of the BitShares token. But another portion of the fee is paid to the referrer of the account. Now, this isn't multi-level, where if you're at the top of the pyramid, you receive fees from everybody. You only get fees from people that you directly refer, but it's a great way for the network to reward people who spread the word about BitShares. Well, that's a quick tour of a few of the major features that I consider to be most important on the BitShares network. We'll get a chance to get into the details of those in other videos. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.